Hey guys, uh, Boris here with the fifth part, and um, this is going to be quite an intense part because we're going to be doing two major things for a game. We're going to be uh, setting the camera so that it follows the player, and we're going to be uh, ch set making a background that actually moves when your player moves. So like, there's going to be two layers: the back layer, the front layer. The front layer is going to move left. The back layer is going to move right. And it's gonna have this really uh, cool effect um, that we all want. So um, we don't. Okay, this we don't need this for just yet. So because you probably don't have the script, you probably look at my scripts and you're like, "What is this camera script?" Well, I just recently created this cam. Well, actually, I didn't create it. I found it on the Unify whatever like unify community or something like that and um um what was what okay sorry what the script is is um um this script what it does is it makes a camera follow a certain target and um this is a 2d camera like i edited it it's a 2d camera because it locks rotation so you cannot so our camera cannot go down or it cannot go up and it can go too far to the right to see the the right side and the top side it, all it does it locks rotation just to see this one side right here it locks rotation just for this one side and this is pretty much made for um this script is made for an orthographic camera so I'm gonna attach the script in the description and we're gonna go ahead and drag the script onto our camera make sure you're dragging on the main camera now you got a few variables here and I'll quickly go through what these variables mean target is whatever object you want the camera to follow distance is how far away you want the camera to be from the object height we, don't, we do not need height because height is how high do you want the camera to view pretty much to look down at an object and we do not want that um, damping is I, I think it has to do with speed so we're just gonna leave the speed of 5 we, and smooth rotation is something that goes too far to the side and we also do not want that but if you leave that on, you have to turn on lock rotation, and you do have to turn on your lock rotation for a 2D game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to 10. Since our size is 10, we're gonna change the distance to 10. Um, and we're gonna, and don't worry about this, because if we turn this on off, this is not gonna work. Um, but I just leave it on just in case, you know, so you don't screw around with anything. Um, we're gonna also first person controller as a target at all times. So, right now, if we play the game, our camera is following the player. And as you can see, we got our perfect. It, it works. And um, as I said, the, the link to the script. I'm gonna upload it to Mediafire and it's gonna be in the description. Okay, we're all good here. So we, we got a script ready. Um everything is good. And now we're gonna advance to the second part of this video, which which is um that has to do with backgrounds. And I created before that for my own game, I created two PNG background, two seamless PMG backgrounds. What it is is Seamless means that if you draw a line right where in the start and when they're ends, the line is going to be equal because it starts at the same position and it ends at the same position. So if you were to make a, a chart here, this, this would be zero, this would be one, this would be negative one, this would be zero, and this would also be zero. So it ends at the same point, and the the background is white. It's it's transparent um, and you do want it to be transparent so we're gonna grab these two control click and we're gonna drag them onto our textures and uh, we're gonna 
find them right here and I already kind of had that pre-done because I was checking it out but we're gonna have these two and I'm just gonna do is BG1 just quick rename BG2 now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to materials folder if you haven't created one yet and okay sorry about that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a material a new material you're gonna call this BG1 and we're gonna select the shader to uh, transparent diffuse. We're gonna select our texture as this. And we're gonna control D to duplicate it. And the second BG, you're gonna send the texture to this, to the, our second background. Um, so now we got our uh, nice materials over here that we're gonna be using soon. Uh, now we need to actually have a way to display them on our game so we're gonna create a new plane and it's facing upward but we, we want it to be facing the camera so we're gonna go ahead and change the rotation to 9180 and we're gonna we're gonna bring it up just like that I'm gonna hold shift I'm gonna scale it and I'm gonna set its X position to zero like that now we're gonna click on our plane and I'm gonna click F2 to rename it and we're gonna change it to BG1 and as you probably guessed if you have we're gonna attach our BG1 to the mesh render and we're gonna have this really weird thing going on because it's stretched so we're gonna change the X thing to 10 and we're gonna go ahead click W and bring it down like this but that blue background is just killing me so we're gonna click on our first person controller and to make it look less ugly I mean not I'm gonna click on our camera to make it less ugly we're gonna set set the background to black and black is zero 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 oh god it scared me skype scared me okay pretty much um we got one background but this is, looks kind of plain so we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna click f2 and we're gonna change one to two gonna bring it down just a little bit and up and for this we're gonna send our second background play and we're gonna change the position position back to 10 and this is this one's worse quality for some reason so just like that and maybe bring the first one up a little more Maybe just like that. Like it doesn't matter right now. It's just, just a matter of matter of scale. So that's good enough. And they're both. They should both be at zero. Because now we're gonna get into some heavy scripting. That's not that heavy actually. So we're gonna go ahead and. Right click, we're gonna create a new JavaScript and we're just gonna call this background. We're gonna open up our background and um, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using a script for each of these backgrounds to either move along or right against the camera. So so we're gonna first we're gonna declare a few variables. First variable is going to be private. Private variable and it's going to be camera pause, which is going to be declared as a float. Now, second, now second variable is not going to be private because we might going to have to edit it, and it's going to be speed. The speed that it moves at it's also going to be a float because maybe you know we want it a little bit faster, a little bit slower. So it's not going to be an integer. We're going to make it a float. And the last one is going to be follow cam which 
is going to be bullion because this is where we are asking our guy to either follow along or against the camera now in our start function we're gonna do only one line of code which we're gonna say um cam position because we don't know our cam position yet so we actually want it to uh, we want it want our camera position to be equal to camera position so we're gonna equal to camera dot main dot transform dot position dot x and we just gave our cam pause a value of our camera's position now in our update function we're going to be telling we're going to be checking every frame um if our object is following the camera or if it's not following the camera and it should move against the camera so our object is going to be transforming its x position into the camera dot main dot transform position dot x minus cam pause now divided by offset I mean what offset what am I talking about divided by speed sorry speed now what we said is um if we are following the camera we should be moving along with the camera so whenever whatever camera moves we're going to be moving the same way divided by speed so if we set a lower speed we're going to be moving faster if we set a higher speed we're going to be moving slower that's how messed up it is but that's just the way how it works and we're going to have one more statement which says l so if if the opposite of following the cam is not following the camera so we're going to be uh, copying the script right here and um, going to be removing this line right here and we're going to be doing pretty much our actual camera position is going to be kind of moving away the same distance from the camera from the actual from the original camera position so that's it's a little messed up but I guess that's sort of how it works so we're going to check for any errors and there should be none because I think I know what I'm doing um, background 1 background 2 background 1 is seems to be our factory and background 2 seems to be our landscape so I want my background 1 to move constantly so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it not follow the camera and speed is gonna be I'm gonna set the speed to about a, f a four and and this guy right here wanted I want to sort of also move but I do want it to follow the camera so the speed is gonna be around six so if you play our game now this guy is sort of moving and our back guy is just moving the other way so that's that's pretty much what are what we covered in this tutorial and um it was worth me prods and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys